So it's Huffsmith technically in second. So it's Burden, Huffsmith, and then Lazarczyk. At 800, about 213, 214. So pretty aggressive here. So they may, were out, may have been out a little quick, but they were basically dead on there at 800. I believe Fulton's gonna take them through a K. And Burden just needs to go for a ride here. Had a great, she's had a great NCAA run. He, and she uh, looks like she's still fit. Ready to roll here. And Fulton will pull off at K. They're about 247 there. And now Burden is going to open it up. So again, I believe it's 411 is the USA Auto. Burden and Huffsmith going 1 2. And then there's a gap 303, 304, 305. Say 304 and 305 for Lily. Lily Burden and Courtney Huffsmith. Huffsmith out of Saskatoon, coming up towards the 1200 now. 320, 321, we'll say 321 for Lily Burden. Looking strong down the back stretch here. Huffsmith starting to hurt a little bit, I think. And a good battle in the back there for third. And Garmick is closing well. 200 meters ago, they're about 338. For Lily Burden. And I thought Huffsmith was falling off, but she's actually closing down well now. Lily Burden, can she hold off a hard charging Courtney Huffsmith? It's going to be tight. 100 meters to go. She's at 356. Trying to close it down. She might sneak under that USA qualifier. Can Lily Burden hang on? Huffsmith, the Canadian, closing as well. 410, 411, 412, and it was tight there. I don't know if Burden held her off. I think she did. We're going to go to the board officially. No, it was Huffsmith. Huffsmith got the lean there. Huffsmith gets the win. A strong close there. 412, 95, I think, Lee was, I think was Huffsmith. Man, she almost looked out of it down the back stretch, but she found Something left in that back pocket there, getting the win in the women's 1500.